All right, what's happening YouTube? So today I got another 3D printer. This was sent to me courtesy of GearBest.com. There'll be a link in the description if you want to pick this up. But this is the AnyCubic Castle. This is supposed to be like the best, uh, like the best like $200 range by far. But also too, it's just like you know, it looks awesome and it's a Delta style. And I'm just super, super stoked about this. So let's adjust the camera a little, unbox this baby, and see what we got. Okay guys, so here's the box. It comes packaged really nice. I'm not gonna show you the other side because it's got my address on it, but let's open it up. And uh, fingers crossed I didn't break anything when I stabbed it. So I wasn't really thinking, but that's kind of the way I roll, so. You should know me by now. Unless you're new to my channel, then welcome. I got my brother Blade behind the camera because he's gonna help me in this whole uh, build process. Mm -hmm. So first things first, we got a box here with the white foam. Wow. Oh, there's more. I gotta cut this tape too. Okay, so judging by all the foam, I'm pretty sure I didn't break anything when I stabbed it. Okay, but this top part, it looks like I got a big bag of hardware. Like all sorts of different, all the hardware I'm gonna need. Everything looks labeled really nice. So, and then here, I got all the pieces for the frame. These all look pretty, pretty nice. Um, got more hardware. I got bearings for the delta arms or whatever. Uh, here is the delta arms. I think these are actually carbon fiber. I'm not sure if these are carbon fiber or aluminum. But I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, they look really nice. These are the arms that actually move all the gears and everything. Um, I think these are the mounts for them. Not quite sure. Once again, no idea. Uh, and then here I got the, this is, I think this is the spool holder, acrylic for the spool holder. Yeah, this is any cubic on it. I got the glass bed, so I'm gonna be very careful with this. Okay, so it looks like everything's packaged here in like foam layers. So let's let me carefully move this stuff. Glass, I'm careful of that. Uh, for the spool holder, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Body pieces. Oh, and it came with a roll of filament, black filament. I was not expecting it to come with a whole roll of filament. That's awesome. So, <laughs> great. That's super, super badass. There we go. Okay. And it looks like where I stabbed into the box, I think we're fine. I don't think I broke anything important. Cool. <laughs> uh, US power cord. Awesome. But it looks like it, it was originally a European. I got to like, it looks like I'm going to have to wire that or something. Or I don't know. But it's got a real build manual. Here, like, I don't know if you can see this blade, but it's got like a legit build manual. So. I think me and Blade are going to try to build this completely just off this manual. Mm -hmm. And they also have YouTube videos and I, there's an SD card I know with files, uh, build files, but it looks like they pretty much go, you know, it's a really nice pictures and looks like a pretty damn good manual. So that, that's, that's uh, goes good to see. USB cords as well as a bunch of other random stuff in this bag. So lots of stuff, more pieces for the frame. So these frame pieces look like they're injection molded. They're not, these aren't 3D print, these are all injection molded, so that's, you know, really nice. Uh, more parts. I got my three motors for the XY, and, oh, four motors, X, Y, Z, and probably extruder, I'm guessing. But yeah, they all look nice. Pretty standard, you know, most of the stuff is pretty standard. Here's all my circuits and stuff. And then here it looks like my LCD. All sorts of more brackets and stuff. A uh, shitload of wires. And my fan, or what is this, a fan? A bunch of wires. The front panel to the LCD. Um, it looks like my hot end. Wire connections. My S, uh, thumb, thumb drive that should have the files on it and everything, so super cool. And then more screws, I don't know what they go to. Oh, you know what? The, I think, the, I don't know. It's weird, they come with an SD card and a thumb drive. 
So I don't know. Maybe we'll, I don't know. I don't know how this works. But we'll let you know as we figure it out. We're, I mean, we're noobs here, but this will be our, our first Delta printer, second 3D printer built. Uh, these are the longer body frame parts. So, what do we got here? No idea what this goes to. Little metal piece. But yeah, lots of metal pieces, which I like because the frame looks like it's all built out of like quality shit. It's like, it's like injection molded parts or aluminum or carbon fiber, so pretty cool. And then uh, what I really like though is you don't have to wire up a power source. It's just got like a standard plug, like, like super awesome. Like, too, too awesome, so. That's much better to me than, uh, you know, wiring anything up. Also too, there's uh, some stuff here. If you can read Chinese, you can read that. But we got English too, just in case. So I don't know, some important directions. And then as well as a checklist. This is the upgraded version too of the anti-cubic console. Here's uh, for the assembly. If you want to download the PDF or whatever, it, I think this takes you to their Google Drive. So assembly, then your setup and your firmware and software. So we might be using that. So. <laughs> so yeah, pretty cool. So this is everything that's in the box. Um, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. I've seen people say this takes four hours to set up. I've also seen people say it takes eight hours to set up. So, me and Blade, this is only our second build. So we don't really know what we're doing, but if we can do it, I think you can do it. So, we're gonna time lapse the build, and uh, that this this first video is just gonna be the unboxing and build, and then after we use it a little bit, we'll do a review video, as well as some other. But, you know, very impressed just from the parts. Let's see if we can put these things together. We're doing it faster than eight hours. All right, we faster than eight hours. Yeah, we ain't doing that again. <laughs>
Okay, so here she is. She's all ready, all done. We just need to install the firmware, but we're gonna go get lunch first. Get some euros. And we'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, Blade got the firmware all figured out. My, it wasn't working on my laptop. On Windows 10, or I don't know why, but the Anduino, er, Andu, how do you say that? Anduino. Anduino wouldn't open on my computer, so we had to use my brother's computer, which makes no sense. And, uh, but anyways, we got it open. Yeah, it's working. Here, Blade, auto home it. Okay. Let's see, check this out. Still a little computer magic. Oh yeah, look at that, computer magic. So, um, I, it looks like we're just gonna put some filament in it and uh, start running our first test print. Okay guys, as you can see, it's up and running. I've printed a couple upgrade parts for it as well as I made my little test Kira robot and I made a strain relief for my other 3D printer. So, freaking awesome. So thank you so much Gearbest for sending me this. Thank you my brother Blade for helping me set this thing up. But yeah, in one day, we had this thing up and running. My other 3D printer, I'm on five days of it and I still love having it running. So for less than $200, you can get a huge 3D printer that prints very fast and with very good quality that you can you know put together pretty good. The, the instructions worked pretty good. The booklet was good. They had videos. They had stuff on the SD card. The firmware setup was a little tricky, but it wasn't really that hard. They went step by step through it. But yeah, if you guys want to pick up one of these, there's going to be a link in the description. You can get this for $169. That's $30 cheaper than the regular price. And I've never seen it go on sale that cheap. I've seen it go on sale for $189, $179, but they're hooking it up and this is only $169. So I'm going to give a full review once I play with this more, get used to using it. But just my first impressions, I say buy this freaking thing. I, I don't know why you wouldn't buy it. It's like, unless it blows up and starts on fire, I can't, don't have a bad thing to say about it. It doesn't have a heated bed, but you can add a heated bed. I think they're only like $25 or something. I've seen them on Amazon and eBay. They probably have them on Gearbest as well. So if there is, I'll put a link to it on Gearbest in the description. And um, then you would just need to put another power supply on there. So there's totally room for everything. There's lots of upgrade room, but it just works great, especially with the PLA. It just, it, it just seems to be working great. I did no adjustments. I used all the settings it said in the instruction manual for Cura. It just powered right up and started printing. So thanks again, Gearbest, for sending me this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like the 3D printer. And until next time, I guess I'll just see you later.